My favorite ship is Lady Noir. I'm gonna throw that out the window. My favorite ship is Filigami. AF Filigami date? <gasps> Wait! What? How did he... <gasps> yes! Yes! They oh my gosh, you, you are gonna make a really good video on this. I just know it. You're gonna fanboy a lot. Pretension was definitely a roller coaster. In one episode, they managed to introduce a brand new ship that got more development than literally any other Love Square ship in five seasons. Well, damn. Not to throw shade at the Love Square, though. We love the Love Square. Filigami is literally so beautiful. As you can tell, me and Lazy definitely adore this ship. With Kagami bringing out the softer, kinder side of Felix, and Felix being the gentleman that Kagami has been longing for. This this ship is most definitely not hard to love. And it makes total sense that in one episode, this ship has managed to find its way into the fandom's heart. So let's get into why exactly Filigami is the ship we never knew we needed. Also, before Lazy left, I recorded our reaction to the episode, so enjoy some quirky little snippets of that. Anyways, what makes this ship so perfect? First off, they have similar upbringings. Felix and Kagami understand each other on another level because they were both raised by strict parents with high expectations and reputations that had to be upheld. Though it seems unlike Adrian, they haven't been sheltered quite as much, which gives them just the right amount of social skills to understand each other. Speaking of social skills, Kagami and Felix both have difficulties with social cues and communication. Kagami has expressed in the past that she has a hard time making connections, and Felix? Well, he literally kidnapped Kagami because he had a crush on her, so I think that says enough. I do not condone kidnapping, you guys. Like, that was not cool to see, but honestly, a lot of characters in this show do weird and creepy things when they have a crush. So maybe maybe we should check up on Thomas Astruck? There, there seems to be um a pattern. Is his wife okay? Anyways, they're also both very protective. They want to fight for each other, fight for their love. When Kagami was with Adrian, it was evidently very one-sided and her love was not being reciprocated. But this time with Filigami, slay, it seems they're both putting the same amount of love into this relationship. With Felix protecting Kagami from her mother and Kagami protecting Felix from getting his miraculous taken away. Despite everything keeping these two apart, they want to be together because their love is the only escape they have from their turbulent home lives and internal struggles. They are each other's comfort person. They feel the most safe in each other's presence, not only because of their strong connection, but because it seems like they might both be senti monsters. What? Senti monsters? Personally, if you know me, you know that <laughs> I kind of love the senti monster stuff. That is, when it applies to Adrian and Felix. I love how it makes them special and different and I adore the backstory behind it. You know, with like Emily and Gabriel not being able to have a kid and everything, mwah, perfection. I am a bit iffy when it comes to Kagami though because I wanted it to be exclusive to the cousins. But that's a story for another day. Looking at Felix's line in pretension when he talked about Senti stuff and Kagami was like, are you talking about yourself? And then the way he was like, I'm talking about us. As well as all the stuff with Kagami's mom's ring and Gabriel talking to Sarugi about weird control tactics. It's definitely safe to say that they're both probably Sentis. And this connects them on a deeper level. Not only are they each other's comfort person, but they also connect because they understand each other's Senti struggles or at least weird mind control struggles, with their free will being tied to an object. But now, on a psychological level, you know, in our brains, in our heads, why is this ship so good? Why does it work so well? Andrea Bonnier from Psychology Today lists some of the things that make a healthy relationship in this article. Let's see if these apply to Filigami. One, trust. It was a little rocky at first, but looking at how later on Kagami didn't try to escape from Felix and Kagami literally trusted Felix enough to defend him when Ladybug and Katnoir were trying to take his miraculous. Oh, oh, and the fact that Felix literally made sure that she had her control ring. Yeah, there is definitely trust there. Two, communication. As soon as Felix started speaking to Kagami, he poured his heart out to her. Oh my god, this part was so cute. Like the way he was stuttering and stumbling and like me and Lazy. Oh my god. <gasps> We're the same. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Never met someone like you. Oh my Oh my gosh! Yeah, so he poured his heart out and later on as well, he was communicating why he has the Peacock Miraculous and was open with Kagami about his intentions. And Kagami was open with him about her mommy issues. Three. Patience. We've only seen one episode, so we don't know yet, but tell me if you think there are moments where they were being patient with each other in the comments. Anyways, we could go through this entire list, but the point is, Filagami works beautifully, and that is why we like it so much. Furthermore, Filagami is an excellent subship to Adrianette. Of course, we've seen like Adrigami and Luganette or Alia and Nino, but those ships were never this serious, and if they were, we all knew they would fade away because Endgame is the love square. But this is a serious ship that we have watched grow and prosper with tension and chemistry and uh, it's so perfect. Listen, here's a summary. We are used to and, you know, we love the slow burn. But seeing stuff actually happen at this pace is nice to see. And to me, somehow it didn't feel rushed. It's especially nice seeing another romance at a time where Adrianette is finally together and a couple. A time where we can actually shift our focus from the love square from time to time to cry over something else. Filagami is a nice add-on that gives us something new to root for. Why? Because Kagami and Felix are both layered, dynamic, complicated characters that we want the best for. So seeing them together like this in such a wholesome, touchy, close, cute relationship is everything. And let's be for real, some of y'all definitely simping for Felix. Be honest now, we all know you want a guy like that. You wish you had Felix. But now, to end this off, here are some more clips of our reaction to this episode. I have to talk about her being a senti monster. Wait, are we like leaving Adrianette now? They they had their thing. Let's, now it's time to move let's on. sail away. We just threw all the last seven years in the in the bin. <laughs> all five seasons. <laughs> Goodbye. We don't like you anymore. Adrianette has had its time in the sun. I'm making a video about this. Yes. Oh my. Wait. <laughs> this is like ah. Look at his hands. It's this like is so like, awkward. This is like. Oh. Oh, no. me fangirling. I want to see miraculous tales of Ryuko and Argos. <laughs> me too. I mean, I feel like their powers are actually kind of cooler than Adrian. <laughs> Adrian. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh. Oh, never mind. No. Felix is out. Oh, what? <laughs> it just went snap. Oh. <laughs> All I care about is your safety. What? Wait. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my god. Oh! I, I was enjoying Felix and Kagami's moment, and then Ladybug, Felix, set Kagami free. Like, really? Wait, girl? but. But yeah, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed me and Lazy's reactions. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and tell me what you thought in the comments. Do you like Felixami? Are you okay with it? Do you. Do you hate it? Let me know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Wise Kid out. Bye.